Allah took different parts of the earth and he molded it into clay and from there there was water added to that until that clay turned dark and black and then that clay Allah fashioned it into the form of the human being and now when the clay is becoming dry it's taking a different color and the color that it takes eventually is the color of wheat wheat and that's why Adam السلام, got his name from because Adam is from Udum which is wheat and his color was the color of wheat right light brown kind of color so he took from the white white rocks he took from the black rocks he took from the brown soil he took from the from the red he took all these different colors all right from the yellow sort of sandy type of ground material that you get Allah took all of that this is this is all these different parts that Allah took why there's a reason Allah created a creation called the Ruh, which is, which is the spirit. He created a creation from which if he blows or if from that Ruh something transfers into the clay, that molded clay that is, that is dead, that has got not just a shape and a form, if that goes in there, then it allows that person to become alive and to move. So suddenly, Adam السلام, found himself alive. Now you can imagine what's happened to Iblis. He's getting even more, you know, the jealousy and the, all that is really kicking in. Right? And so he's there standing, watching, observing and thinking, okay, what's going to come next? Now what happens next is, Adam al Allah then taught Adam al -Islam the names, or, or all the names. Now what does it mean by all the names? Here again, Mufassirun have, have debated. Then there's lengthy, lengthy pages of what, what are these names that was taught them. Whether they're names of Allah, whether the names of Allah, or are they the names of the angels? That's, that's one quotation. Uh, we, we, uh, are these names of certain things that the angel never knew of? Or are they things that the angels also knew of? Because Allah then challenged the angels to try and say the names of these things. What were these things? So according to the Mufassirin, a dominant thing seems to be that there were things on the earth to do with becoming a vicegerent, to becoming a Khalifa, to now reigning the earth in a way that has never been done before. Because the angels had seen the jinns and how they lived on the earth. So they didn't, what did the jinns do? The jinns couldn't build buildings. They did, the jinns didn't know what buildings were and how to make monuments and so on. The jinns did not know and they did not need material things to live. The jinns, they didn't need material things to live. So, um, make, taking a seed, putting a seed into the ground, and then the seed sort of growing and then cultivating it, and then the tree grows, and then taking that tree, cutting it up, making planks of wood, then from that plank of wood, to make something with four legs, that's a table, to make something else that's a four legs and that's a chair, and to sit on it at a table, that is something jinns never knew. That's something that jinns never knew. Things that a human being will be able to do. As a human being, inside your mind, you've got this brilliant ability to innovate. And this thing of innovation was not in the jinns. And this is what really made Iblis jealous. You know, you can imagine the feelings that are going in Iblis. So Allah first said to the angels, he said, Oh angels, he said, tell me what these things are. And the angels didn't know. If the angels looked at a table, they wouldn't know what that table is. They wouldn't know what chair is. They wouldn't know, you know a house and inside the house. They wouldn't know that. The angels wouldn't know, you know, to make a building to govern people. Or whatever. They wouldn't know any of this. They wouldn't know the difference. Allah said, okay, go and tell me. La ilma lana. We don't have the knowledge. Except for the knowledge that you have endowed us and you've given us. Then Allah tells Adam and Islam says, Oh Adam, now ambihum bi asma. Tell me what are these concepts, these names here. So Adam and Islam said, that's that's the table, or that's the chair. I'm not saying he said table, I'm not saying it's just chair. Whatever those things was, he said, that's that, that's this, that's that, that's this. And they were absolutely amazed. Now even Iblis was like, I don't even know what this is. And this this thing Allah has created, he knows all of this. <laughs> 